when we last left off, you nearly escaped a oh. encounter with a bunch of overpowered mass. Well, two, one overpowered mastiff and a bunch of you know weak ones. Uh, it was actually a whole lot of mastiffs that were unnaturally paired with well, two rather large direwolves. One of the direwolves had a strange device around its neck that caused it to be a bit of an issue. I got it. It's in my pocket. And as a result of the encounter, you got a few direwolf pelts, which I think the person that took that already put that down, and a mastiff. The oh, Mastiff so just... Doing? Um, I believe that you guys were resting when we last left off. Yes. Yeah, so... Alright, so who was taking the next watch? Um, I we think I had the last one, and I rolled my perception. I think we were technically ready to wake up. Alright. We, we were about to leave, but then I got blown up, and then I went back to sleep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's where we left off on. So yeah, so everybody's up and rested and yeah. Let me send you back to the world map. Where are we going? Because North. I don't have a battle axe now. I have a battle axe. What? Alright, so, you guys were right here, I believe. Actually, it was more like right here. Hmm. There's all this, like, uh, orange-brown stuff over here. It's supposed to be watery area. Yeah, it, it's meant to be looking like a map. Okay, so this Because you were given a rather large map without any... Truly discerning details about it. Alright. And. So where are we headed now? North. North. How far? Uh, the like... people that grouped up with, um. the pre existing oh group. You were kind yeah. of told by Trey to just gather them up and bring them all back to him. At the mail mail. And also, that coat that I just dropped on the map, that is going to be our place marker for where the weep is. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we now technically have leave to abandon this task of bringing back, or uh, delivering this letter? Uh, yes. Sweet. Alright, well, let's bring him back. Actually, you're more like, I believe you're only halfway through that. Right there. Yeah, because that's how the time worked out. Alright. So, at your current pace of being off road, you're moving at half a square a day. Or half a hex a day. Yeah. I like how no one notices my change. I'll just roll with it. I'm not gonna say anything if they don't say anything. At some point during the night, um, Owen effects took down his hood and, oh hey, those horns there. Gotta get so he, he's a dragonborn, not a tiefling. Um, I'm the dragonborn. He Half dragon. Half dragon. Oh, yeah. Half oh my god. So, what in the heck? This okay, so Ornifex has whenever he had his hood up, the what you could see of his face seemed like a human face. He had the normal human skin tone, not the reddish tint of a tiefling. He took the hood down and there were horns much like what most tieflings have, but again he was missing other signature tiefling traits. Hmm. 
Well, I can't see that. I'll just put the picture in chat. Oh, once I find it, once I get it on my phone. Uh, here we go. Oh my god, that's large, yeah. That is what he looks like. Interesting. Oh, I thought that was a ponytail. <laughs> oh. If Fabulous. only that was the case. Fabulous, honey. Fabulous. Honey. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Was... <sighs> Alright, so... Um, I believe that somebody had the Outlander, which allowed them to feed people. Yes, that would be me. I have the uh, Wanderer thing. I can provide food and water for myself and up to five others. Alright, uh, so you are traveling with five others at the moment, and also Mastiff. Well, the Mastiff can fend for itself because I'm pretty ticked. And it's uh, at, at its chosen company. Can we just feed it its brothers? Oh, uh, it yeah. did sleep among its brothers after. Oh, like, never mind. That the night, tiefling yeah. can the tiefling can feed that freaking mastiff. I'm not having nothing to do with it. Will it eat rations? Uh, yes, yeah, it does consume it eat food. Dry rations. Okay. Well, rations are like dried meat and stuff, so. Mm. Some hard bread as well, yeah. It also can be like um, preserved meat, that kind of stuff as well. Like jerky. Right. So, you travel the three days needed to get to Nail's docks. Jesus Christ. Yep. Yo, remember when we had horses? Yeah, that was a great time. That was a good time. Well, they ha they had a wagon Dogs with them, I believe. Yeah. So, that's... And you were also off road. Just pulling the wagon. Uh, they had horses with them, but the horses that the new people came on, those ran off. Wonderful. The horses were nice and safe, and the other people's horses were nice and safe in the tent. Uh... Alright. Fair enough. Well, I guess I guess we keep moving on until we get back to where we're going. So let me just shift this back over. Walk up. And that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Yeah, guys. Shit. And all right, so you travel through the Hosh landscape for a few days until you finally see the slightly uh, relieving sight of Nails Docks. Though Trey seems to have been taking up some wood carving, he has made a wooden knife with his normal knife. Oh. He made a wooden knife? Yeah, he, he carved himself a wooden knife out of his okay. normal knife. Like, he used his normal knife to do it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. The way you said that, I thought he made a knife out of the wooden knife, and I was really confused. No, that's what comes next. Okay, cool. Yeah. Making sure. I well, see I don't know that you're back. back. I'm not sure. Took you a few days. Where's the, uh, horses you guys came in on? <laughs> I don't say anything. I just kind of passed. I, I mean, I don't know what to say, so I'll follow along. I, I roll my eyes. We had an altercation with some dogs, not unlike that mangy mutt. Now, we are without our horses. Dogs oh. allowed in the city? Uh, the Mastiff it seems to be relatively behaving itself. Like, Mastiffs are, like, bred dogs. They're not, like... No, I mean, are they allowed in the city, though? Um, to your knowledge... Maybe. I don't know crap about this, but... 
Yeah. And you said they let the cat in. Why not let the thing in? That's true. Cats, so. so we were supposed to bring these people back to the person in this building over here? Uh, the person that was on the wagon right there. Oh, the asshole that told me to go away. <laughs> yeah. Well, people, go meet the asshole. We know him, we know him. No I'm all running over by his card again. So, um, ready to get going? Where we are we going? Do they have a shop in town? Oh, yeah, what kind of shop are you looking for? Uh, something that might sell artisan tools. He scratches the back of his head. Well, uh, they don't really got much of that in here. They're kind of, they got a tavern and that's about it. Alright, that's fine. Do they have right, a board? I don't need anything then. No, this is really more of just a temporary dock town. Alright. Not really Maybe something that has to get me another weapon because mine is broken. Oh yeah. Now how'd that happen? Hours. You have Six. literally three more axes. I have two more. I only have two more. No, only one of them broke. Yeah, but the other one's still covered in the acid. But I'm not gonna use that. Yeah, we are surrounded by water. Kaboom. Last time I... Yeah, you got... Look. The acid would've corroded away by now, but it's extremely flimsy at this point. Alright, so, I want, because those two are light axes, I could duel with those, I can't duel with the two big axes I have yet, so I wanted to get me two light axes now. Is there any way here for me to do that? Well, he just shrugs, not quite sure where to get one of those, um, you can always go to the City of Dawn if you're looking for some equipment. Alright, fine. I'll just use the one axe I have for now. Yeah, it'll probably be a bit of a journey to get there. Uh, it's only a few days trip from the Wet Trading Company. <laughs> he if thinks, only had a forge. He uh, thinks for a little bit. As I count spaces. <laughs> it's about an eight day trip. Oh, jeez. And that's a fourth. All right, well, I'm done for that. So you, so you have, you have a great X. Is that what you have? I have uh, two of them, I think. Why do you have two great? I have a dagger. If you have a, if you have one, if you have one light axe left, I'll give you a dagger, and you can dual wield with that. <laughs> I do not. I just have the two okay. battle axes. Never mind then. Thank you for the for the thought, though. I didn't well, think I mean, that I my war axes would be or my hand axes would be destroyed so quickly. Well, for trading, I just made a knife. If somebody's wanting to give me something a little bit better, do I not have any other daggers? I'll take the metal one. <laughs> no, I uh, need the metal one. I have a crowbar. Alright, well, I'm good for now. Alright. Everybody ready to get going? Where are we, going? Yeah, where where are we, we going? heading to? Oh, uh, we're heading back to Wit Trading Company. To get paid, oh. right? Uh, oh. no, you guys have a package. You guys have another package. Yep. <clears throat> I'm hoping we're gonna get paid, too. Yeah. You're 13 years. You're 13 years old. If anything, you're getting college credit. Shut <laughs> <laughs> oh, up! Yeah. <sighs> All right, so we're heading back to uh, the trading company now. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. So, 
Uh, Trey gathers up the remaining little bit. There wasn't too much he was expecting for you guys to get back. Uh, gets up on the wagon and starts leading the way out. Did you say he wasn't expecting us for, to make it back? Wow, that was fast. Uh, nope, sorry. Wrong map. Next one of... <laughs> Took like no time at all. I know, right? Um... So you just travel along the road back? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. It took you guys. It took us what three days to get here. On the, on the way, can we look to see if Jade is by the cave or by those tracks? Oh yeah, my uh. You my do other see character. two additional tracks that are leading out. Uh, also, will me a a perception check. All of us. Uh, whoever is interested in this. Uh, well, that was terrible. I don't care. I don't care. I'm looking around. I've never been outside. My little freaking grove. I'll just yeah, look for cool. stuff, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. Uh, I should I assume? Oh, oh my... as you're looking around, your eyes just keep getting drawn to the hilt of that axe. <laughs> Sad axe. Oh, that makes you're sense. just admiring your axe. A lone tear falls. <laughs> uh, should I assume that my herbalism kit is full? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, anybody else interested in it? Oh, good to get going. Uh, I want to get paid. I, I haven't had them, so I would not care. Alright. So, the nine day travel back to the wet trading company passes a bit slowly. After a few days, um, Kazandu runs out of rations and starts having to feed for himself. Uh, should Joven... I have ten days worth of rations for myself. Yeah. I have rations. We also have a Mastiff. Yep. The Mastiff is not hunting to bring stuff back for you guys, though. He has not been taking I'm, I'm not back. talking about hunting. We have a Mastiff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also gathering food and water for everybody, if we can. Yeah, the... but you can't feed everybody. That's true. He has to feed his dog. That's basically what he's saying, and so he's ah, wasted you. all of his rations. And Sajovin is also feeding himself. Half a ration, though. And you manage to take care of everybody else. Um, I forget. Can I make potions with a herbalism kit? He's good. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let me just switch back to that. Mm. Alright, so you ride back into the Vonwood Trading Company. Sick. Mm. Wait, we took their horses, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. Oh, and hey, we brought back your horses. Uh, we don't know what happened to their horses, so we tied them to this coach. Uh, who are you talking to in particular? Uh, I was just saying, no, that wasn't in character. Saying it to the air. Yeah, that wasn't hey, in character. So what are we doing here? I'm just gonna hang out over here and wait. Oh, hello, I see that you've made it back. Uh, the long-haired man that many of you know as Hanzo. Uh, wanders back to the back. Hmm. Better get going to the college of Jitsu! Two dragons go. No, 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 he says, Ryu ga waga teki o kurao. Please. Sorry, I don't speak weave. for a living. You're killing me here. Sorry, I don't speak weave. Come again. I, I approach Hanzo and, um, I'll ask, um, can we get paid now? Jesus Christ, why can't Yes, um, he takes out several small coin pouches and gives 20 gold to, uh, taking me a second to remember who all was in the original group. I believe it was uh, Carrick, Everybody uh, but 
everybody but the uh, the giant ogre that's crying over axes, the lizard man, and the dragon. I'm pretty sure Carrick and I uh, are the only ones from yep, the original yep. and, so, and Char Charvin and Cassander as well. Hoth, Carrick, and uh, Charvin and Cassander. Yeah. They are given 20 gold each. And the remainder of you, he just looks around, hmm, did it I really- I got five gold, I'm happy. I don't know what gold does, but what the hell is money? You guys didn't really get them as quickly as I hoped, but... For the continued business, he takes out a few coin- a few coins, not quite coin pouches, as it's not a large enough sum to need it. And... Hands each of the three new ones five gold. I wave my hand. I'm afraid I cannot accept payment. Okay. I will take the payment. We lost your horse. We lost your horses when a dire wolf and its friends attacked us. So I'm assuming that you're going to forgo the payment I, on the I, next one. In I believe it was Cassander that failed the animal handling rule. So saying that we failed, um. I'm saying I cannot accept it. Yeah, I, I don't know what money is, so I just look at the gold and hand it back. I don't know what money is. Paris okay. makes a point of counting out her purse right in front of that Hanzo. Uh, yeah. Hoth, I was going to privately message you this, but you do find that there was an extra 15 gold in there. Whoops, shouldn't have done this in front of everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I can do numbers. I'm counting. I don't know what it means, but apparently you have 15 more than everybody. What does that what it mean? I don't. I I grew up in the woods. All right. I don't know what money is. I was well, I raised by the, the, the dryads, man. I was raised by poor people. Anyways, <laughs> we owe. Um... We've received a request from the City of Dawn to deliver this shipment to Vincent. No, um, Wraithwood, my bad. Um, Wraithwood is just a small little military outpost with not too much going for it. It's not even one of the major ones along the border, so. They're really just there oh. just in case something comes out of the sea. How far are they? From here. Only a few days' travels. Fucking more days travel. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> uh, if you go off to the east... I'm sure you saw the split. If you go off to the east and where the road splits, go off to the north. That road leads off to Wraithwood. <clears throat> how much, right, how much are you now. paying? Let's go. Let's no, go no, no, no. Where we go? How much are we getting paid for this? Well, I lean over. I lean over and I go. What is payment? Well, those three. He points to the three new people. Like would not be wait. receiving payment due to what is needed to recover for the <laughs> lost horses. <laughs> I just you gotta leave. be talking to I me. wait for it to with shitty horses, and you want us to pay for them. Now, the rest of you, however, will get. A sum of, he thinks for a moment, let's say 30 gold apiece. You yeah. want to be splurging to giving them 30 gold, but you won't give us shit? <laughs> you did lose horses, and they owe both, well, Wait, a bit more than what you gave me. Your horses. your horses left us. That's not fair, bro. At it is your point, job to keep I track no of them care. and to bring them back. Those were loans. They won't for you to lose. I walk out back and I call for the horses and they magically appear. <laughs> for only an animal handling. Jesus oh my Christ. gosh, yes. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, um, Nat 20 coming up, boys. I got a plus zero to animal handling. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah! I think you scared away a couple more horses. <laughs> you horses walk outside and you start calling for the horses. Um, I mean, 
That Give was me a dexterity save good. real quick. Oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> I got a I got a one dexterity so a dexterity saving throw. All right. Nice. Oh, um, as you are I, calling, I, you notice that there's the a horse. bird flying right overhead, and it doesn't seem to like the fact that you're being loud. A small white drop falls from the sky. You just kind of sidestep it as I it's flat on the ground. It. Or I throw fireball. I cast. Well, need attack. Get shit on. Get shit on by a bird. What is the attack range on this? One? Oh, 120 Rip. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you go to throw it. You go to throw this firebolt straight up, and eventually it just starts falling down. That's Roll not the how damage. Works. It dissipates. Roll the damage. <laughs> it dissipates when it reaches the end of its limit. That's how it works. Um, Whatever you're so bad at magic, magic changes magic. Oh my gosh, he's gonna die. So, because die. it traveled a good distance, and the magic has weakened, you only take two points of damage, as you only take a fourth of it. I don't get a dexterity saving throw? No. Damn it, alright. <laughs> I roll good. my eye. I roll my eyes. Your um, judgment is just, sir. I will complete your job to your satisfaction. Yeah, I'm. I'm eager to get paid again, so... I yeah, hop on. on. I hop on the cart. And the as you are hopping on, Trey, uh, Trey hops off. I'm still questioningly looking at the gold that I was given. Like, what the fuck is this? Are you not coming with us, Trey? No, uh, you guys should. If you just follow the path that we did before and take the one that heads north instead of east, you should be just fine. I was just there to help you show. Find the way. I mean, it is called the Wraithwood. Yeah, have fun with that. That bodes well. If if there's anything that I learned growing up amongst trees, is that if somebody named it Wraithwood, there's probably no wraiths. <laughs> probably. What? Right over my head. I don't understand. Is this a pile of boxes? You start rummaging through the boxes. <laughs> Alright, I just get back in the freaking cart. I'm ready. Oh, uh, what are you looking? Oh, what you see right there is well, just a whole lot of different bits and pieces. Um, you can tell that some of it is. Uh, just, like, actively, like, having things put in and out of it as much as it's been rummaged through. And Is it's it a broken kind of... cart? There was not that a broken... Looks like it's been smashed a... That looks like it's been smashed by there. No. Okay. Hey, before we go, can I ask these people a question? Uh, yes. Who in particular are you going to ask it to? Uh, this guy over here. Alright. Oh, uh, yes. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you have any... any kind of weapon for me to take? Since... or buy? But, uh... Well... I don't have one. We are in the trade business, but we're really more of just, uh... in between. Is there anything I'm particularly looking for? Uh, some hand axes, too. He thinks to himself for a moment. And... I do you have one that was left here by another mercenary during one of his fits. I will sell it to you. I'm sorry. Uh, if you only have one, then never mind. Let's go. I still have I still have the two daggers. How many so, daggers? You wanted to two hand it. Uh no. I'll just take the take the two handed axe I have. Alright. Let's go. I'm good for now. Uh can I try to make a uh small potion of healing? My herbalism kit? Uh yes, you would be using the bulls that I sent to you. Uh, rolls. 
Uh, oh wait, um, sorry, that was I sent that to someone else. Um, <laughs> give me one second, and I'm just gonna put this in the normal chat. These are the crafting rules that we are going to be using because fifth edition's crafting is kind of non-existent. And this is kind Isn't of just it like something... you have to do it during a rest, and if you make a roll, then I mean it's kind of like the normal crafting is really shitty. I'm not sure if this is third party or if it's like something extra that they released, but I found this and I really like how they have it. Okay. And that is now in chat. That the same thing that you sent to me. Yep. Oh. Good. Alright. Um, effectively, the daytime that's going on in here, whenever you're traveling, you can't really do it in there. But whenever you're, like, on a wagon like you are right now, then you count that as half a day. Because you're not really sitting down there completely focused on it. There's still a bit of uh, attention that's going on. What would, uh, what what would herbalism kick count as? Uh... That would be... One second. Oh, magical healing potions. All right. And yep. other basic medical aids. All right. Um. So which way are we headed? North? East? West? Uh, uh, he said it was to the north east, east, and you take the north. road going to the north where it splits. Well, right. like, this way again? How many can I make before I have to search again? Um, one. Probably one, actually. Alright, um, I'll make one, uh, standard healing potion then. And that takes one day. A week. So that's gonna be two days. Yeah. Alright. So you travel along. Um, Kazandu, actually, before you leave, Kazandu looks to his... Wolf, and then at the group. Should he stay or should he go? Should I stay or should yeah. I go? I don't so really I have the that. food to feed him, and... We should definitely stay. Alright. He... Uh, kind of pets the Mastiff a little bit. Points over to the horse's food. The Mastiff goes over there and is really disappointed that it's not meat and starts to eat. Dude, Ooh. he can't. That's not. That's not how animals work. Dogs will eat anything, bro. Just trust dogs me. will eat anything. Speaking However, he is going to be sick. Of a dog veterinarian, I can guarantee that is not true. But I see dogs eat <laughs> I. He is going to be sick, but he can eat it. Okay. All right. Um. um Shajovin is also going to stay behind. So who's going to stay behind? Uh, Shajovin. He's the guy that hasn't made the last few sessions. Okay. Right. Anybody else staying behind? Oh, well, that'll be it. We just left the chat. Uh, that was Timmy. He was in the chat briefly. He said, I'm in chat, but I need to go grab something. Okay. And, and so which direction are we headed? Again, the north. <laughs> yep. Alright. I can't do anything during this little time, so I'll just wait. Uh, does this count as a short rest? Uh, yes, you are having a long rest on each day, actually. Alright. Um... Then that means, all right, yeah, I'll add a potion of healing to my. Whenever, yeah. whenever, we, whenever we have some downtime, I'm gonna go up to Orgron, and Orgron. Yeah, Orgron, and then I'm gonna pull ten gold pieces out of my pouch and give it to him. And I'll say, "This is so you can buy some new axes." And I felt bad because your axes were destroyed. So here's ten gold. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was so ready to backhand you because I thought I was going to get robbed again. 
I do actually need to know. They, oh, he's sending you off with two wagons again. How are you guys settling yourselves on there? I'm just gonna sit where I'm got my character at, my token. Um, who can do range stuff? Not me. I, I, I can. can. My, oh, I can. I have right, a bit so of reach with. I have reach with my whip, so I could drive the other one. So it's probably. We'll probably want me and one, because Xander and one. Uh, Will driving one. And then the others can just pile in. Alright, so how you guys... Are you missing one? Uh, Quillhoad. Oh, uh, yeah. Am I in the wrong cart? Yep. Okay. Alright, because they're going to do a little step off and let you take hold of that. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so. Hearth is gonna drive the other one? Yeah, I did pretty good with horses the last time. Oh yeah, we need we need Hearth driving it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I got a plus zero to animal handling, so. I have a minus zero to animal handling. Sweet. I have a right. one. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I think this is it. Alright. Cool. Okay. Case. I don't know uh, if you guys can hear me, to be honest. <laughs> it's fine, bro. It's fine. I just woke up, so... Alright, so... You guys travel, and, um... The people that were in the front of the uh, wagons, the ones that are driving, give me perception checks with disadvantage as you're focusing on the... Uh, Horses and people that are in the back you won't need perception. Oh, great. Yep. Hey. Disadvantage, but not too bad. I'm focusing on a potion, so I have disadvantage as well. Uh, anybody that was in the middle of the coats just plainly don't well. Oh, I was well, in the back. Alright, so... Oh, go on, what was your position? I was at the back of one of the carts. I think the, um, front cart? The one right. the cart was in. So, Hoth, you actually notice a foam in the road. A what? You notice something in the middle of the road further ahead. Is it a wraith? I didn't see her roll. What did she roll? Uh, she uh, rolled a nat and a nat 20. What? She rolled a 10 and a nat 20. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Well, uh, I would stop the horses. Do you, do you want to call out before stopping so Quill has time to stop? Like, I, I, I rolled 13 perceptions since we're going at this with disadvantage. Um, yeah, but oh, okay. she she was in the front, in front as well, and it's something that was ahead of you guys. Okay. And also rolled a ten. I, I would notice her stopping, though. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably going, whoa! Like, just more of the horses, but you'll probably hear that as I stop. Yep, I'll stop as well. So what's in the road? Uh, as you look, it seems to be somebody that, well, has a few arrows in him, and... <laughs> kind of covered in blood. Oh, is he real, standing real. up? He no, is he's... laying down, face down. I ask where we stop. I'm going to guess it's because of bandits. You say that. You say that out loud. Yes. Okay. I'll just um, poke, I'll poke my head out the wagon and try to see if I can see it's anybody. Just a telephone game, just like Hearth says, we stop because of bandits. Then it travels down and eventually it gets to me. And Quill's like, just like, we stopped because of bandages. Bandages, <laughs> like, and I, I'm just holding up the healing potion I made, like. 
Who needs bandages? <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll, I'll stick my head out the wagon and try to see if I can see anybody. You do see a form in the middle of the road. It, it appears to be human. Oh, I don't care then. If it's human, I don't care. It is smack dab in the middle of the road. About. Oh, so then stop, I I'm gonna get out of the car and walk yeah. towards the front to see what's going on. I'm gonna keep my hands on the reins and remain seated. You guys want me to go and check the body and figure out what's going on? Go for it. Sick. Let me go up to the body and like uh, just look at it, see if uh, see if the person's alive. I'm going to hold chill touch. If anyone attacks him, I'm gonna like fuck him up. All right. Wait, um, have to be? Okay, give yeah. me an investigation check. Uh, investigation. Yep. Ooh, the nice. man's name is Gerald. You find his wife, a picture of his wife and child in his back pocket. Oh God, he's, he's breathing. Number. Huh? He is breathing. <gasps> he's breathing. All right. Does he look um uh dangerous? Aside from he me. has arrows in him. Does he look dangerous? <laughs> uh, okay, he does. Know. In fact, he is in fact well armed. You oh, also owe me an insight. Does uh, he have hand that's, axes? That's, that's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> what? Does he have hand axes? <gasps> I got uh, an his... eleven. Right. You look around him. The air was a fake. Uh, well, fuck. What weapons do you have on him? Hand axes. He seems to have a skimato shirt boo, and in fact, he does have a hand axe. All right, I take out my battle axe and kind of like kick him a little bit to see if he'll get up. He like, does not get up. You see, the arrows are fake, and you're like, yeah, no, not like, not shaking. like hard. Just like, okay. you know, like, hey, you, you no, allow us catch up, you. you you lean down and you like wipe a French fry across it. <laughs> I like uh. Um, all right, I got my battle like that. I guess I'll just. I don't know. Pick him up and move him closer to the horses. All right, as you pick him up, his foam jokes and he goes to attack you. Carrick, you had a held action. Yeah, I'm casting kill, uh, chill, chill touch on. <laughs> Asshole. It's a race. Every time that pops up and it says something like hatching dragons, I get worried. Oh no, that's not for the next session. Oh, I know, I don't. <laughs> so you know what, like, that'd be great because I need dragons so. To the land of dragons. Right, oh, uh, uh, that does. Dragons. That does hit roll damage. Three. Wow, so useful. Alright, can I drop him and just like. He is attacking, down? give me just one second. Golf clap. <laughs> Does a 14 hit you? A 14 hit me? Yep. <laughs> no. Alright, <laughs> so <laughs> he takes his Skeleto and goes to slice at you as he rolls around, missing. He Ooh. takes his second attack. He has disadvantage. Crap, he has two. Does a 15 hit you? Yeah, he was prone, so he has disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was still carrying him. Yeah, he also has disadvantage. He would have disadvantage because grapple. Yep. But, does 15 hit you? No. Alright, so his second swing is just like, oh, and he just misses. Oh, he sucks. You said he has a scimitar, correct? Yes. And <laughs> as his no, friend cinnamon. kind of just wails around, right, there's I'm... a Jesus. glint as something goes walking towards you. Again, or, uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Does a 25 hit you? <laughs> Son of a bitch, this guy's a bandit captain. Yeah, it totally hits me. Like, no problem. Wait, wait, is this, is it him attacking, or is something else attacking? It is something else attacking. 
Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I do have my battle axe out, right? Alright, so... An arrow goes straight through your chest. You take ten points of damage. Ten! Ooh. Go! And at this point... I hold up the healing potion. <laughs> You're I've really far away, though. Why yeah, I just see an arrow get... Fucking... <laughs> And I just hold up the healing potion, like, anybody need this? I have to click my character, don't I? Yeah, boy! God! Damn it! Dang it! I can't... Why can't I not touch my character? Oh, because I'm... I'm an idiot, don't worry. Because you you're starting a fight with me dying? This is not fun. This is not fair. How much health do you have, boy? I have two I'll... health! Oh, I will geez. try okay. to heal you. Get to me! Hey, yo, that an arrow? <laughs> Alright, is that everyone? No, it's not. We need, um... We need Kaz, Oh yeah. And we also need Quill, I think. I did, I rolled mine. Yeah, I have four. You have to click your character token. first, didn't I? Okay. Can I roll again, or do I have to stick with No, that? you have to keep that for <laughs> You have to keep it, but roll again just so that way it puts you on That there. means you act tomorrow. <laughs> Six. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter anyway. Um. Alright. Ogron, what is your dexterity modifier? Uh, negative one. Yeah, <laughs> it's, lit. it's so lit. <laughs> I'm just going to change you to eight because you're going after him. Alright, so, Kirik, as you were kind of just like the person that was most on guard, you <laughs> act first as you're just ready for this. Wait, wait did the yeah. arrow okay, go can I him? see where the arrow came from? Uh, give me a perception. A what? Hello? If the arrow went yep. through him, it would have attacked the person behind him, which is... Which is Kirik. Roll a what? Uh, give me a, uh, perception. Nah. From this distance, you're not really able to tell. Okay, well, I'll just attack the guy I can see then, and I'll just, uh... I'll do a magic missile on him. Blow in one of your dailies. Or not dailies, yeah, man. Slots. Oh, so, all that hot they automatically hit, damage. but it's three darts. Yeah, three darts, and then you add one for every load level, but we're level one, so. Okay, so it's, uh, ten. Alright. It takes ten points of damage. And I will duck back into the cart. Wait, that does eight. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. Yep, no, I'm stupid. Never mind. Alright. Own effects. Wait, are these carts enclosed? What? Like, are they covered carts, or are they... Uh, yes, yeah, they are covered. Are... They will give you some cover, but really it's not really cards. something that's too... The walls of it aren't too thick. Things can easily go through that. It's I'm more a like a I covered... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm it's more covered like a covered wagon, wagon than blanket. an actual... Um, alright. So I know something's going down, so I'll just go over here. Um, that's not... There. You have heard, um, Ogron <laughs> cry out in pain. I, I'm yeah, just no like, ah, oh, must be his hand axes. That's 30. Nope, that's 30. But I want to see the person, so I'll just move right here. I need to get my deck, though. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, so I will... I'm not sure if I should fireball. It didn't work so well last time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All I know I is I'm saving my ass breath. Uh, I will cast True Strike. Ooh. All right. The, uh, bandit. Oh wait. Fuck. I think that that's a personal thing, isn't it? No, it's it's a range of thirty. Fuck. Um, and he is way more than thirty. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do Firebolt. Sorry if oh, I hit sorry. you. Um, uh, you know yeah, sorry if I hit you. Um, I have two health. 
Uh, you're fine. <laughs> suck it up. Yeah, I'll suck up the fire bolt. You're throwing it. All right, breath. you do in fact hit. Oh wait, no, my bad. You're firing through somebody. Doesn't that give disadvantage? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that that was my bad, but. Hey, hey. Bad. Please tell me you don't kill our poor. Uh, no, it would firebolt. be that one. That yeah, sense. it would have to be in that one. So. You fire the firebolt, but you're not quite able to get a good enough angle on it. Like, you try to do it, like, right between his legs uh, to get to the next guy. However, it goes right between the next guy's legs, too. Alright. I don't think you realized how close to a nat one that was. That that was a two. (laughs) And you still made it all the way up to seven. Impressive. Add five. I have a plus five uh, skill modifier. Exactly. Impressive. Wait, who's that? Oh, that's the sniper, isn't it? Where's the sniper? Oh, uh, we don't. Uh, know. Hoth, what is your AC? Fourteen. No, wait. Thirteen. Yeah. All right. An arrow comes flying right at you, and it hits you in the arm for eight points of damage. Oh gosh! Oh, poor little old lady. That's Everybody gonna died. do. That's that's not gonna be good on bingo night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so I'm here, whippersnapper. I got a potion peeling. You give me a perception with advantage. <laughs> she just got shot with an arrow. Let's do the Skyrim style. <laughs> okay, so you, you can tell. That it was, was somewhere off to this general direction. In the cloud. However, holy crap, there's an arrow in your arm. This hurts. It's distracting. I can feel it. Like it's right <laughs> in my neck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, if you come back, I can. You can take the potion of. Oh, wait, no, no. That's your turn. Or uh, on your turn. If you come back, you can take the potion of healing from it. Alright, so Kazandu is going to use a down to 20 to get off. Move up over here. And isn't quite able to get, get an angle to attack, so he's just going to hold his action until he sees something. Hey, actually, no, he's going turn. to use it to double move, so that way he can actually get in position. Before we go on to the next turn, for some reason, whenever I was, um, massing over people a little while ago, it showed me where the sniper is, so I know where he is, but I'm not gonna go after him. Even if I could. And I won't say uh, anything, but I don't, like, uh, just a heads up in case, um, you try to be- Uh, yeah, yeah, if you mouse over people on the- Oh, okay. Then yeah, you can see the outline. That's such a weird glitch. Oh no, that's not a glitch. Never mind. Yeah, that that, no, that mean, is like, a little bullshit. Just... Not gonna lie. Um, I can't do anything again, about it anyway. It's, it's just it's just okay. if you tabletop it or not. Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah. All right. So um, that was his tune. Hoth. All right, I'm going to cry in pain <laughs> and fall over and pretend I die. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a smart move. You're going to what? Actually. Like, he hit me, and I'm just going to, like, slump in the... Oh, no, I don't know. Give me a deception check. Dude, I want to see you in that 20. That's so pain bad. Death? If you yes. have oh, another yes. third level spell, that's, that's a good. Level, third level spell. And Kira, while I'm doing that, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Great... yeah, I'm gonna do the insight. Oh gosh, Kara, she is fucking dead. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna you stir, sit, sit, in the, you go. sit in the wagon and cry. <laughs> um, I'm also like death gripping the reins as I fall backwards. Uh, is your intention of that to make the horses go forward? 
No, it's just to, to hold them. Okay. Wasn't sure if you're, like, trying to, like, pull back on them a little bit with that, or... Alright. No. That's my turn. Okay. His turn. Jesus Christ. Alright. He's going to take his skimitar. Which will be mine. Man. <laughs> does that does that mean Carrick gets disadvantage on all his rolls because he has to like fire through like Yo, I'm not gonna, his eyes. It rolls a I'm natural not twenty. Attack, oh gosh. He he's dead. <laughs> nope. He's dead, yo. Crit, 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 crit. crit. He can't even kill me with this crit. And that is an underwhelming 10 points of damage, because I will really low, but that's still enough to knock you out. But what about my, um... Oh, yeah, he's a Oh, yeah! Half... My, uh, relentless endurance. Alright. That no, leaves that, you alive that, that long enough for his second attack. Damage, though, he crit. No, that just what? drops no, him right. down to one health. His ability oh, makes it to where... Yeah, right. He could take, like, 112 damage, and he had two health, and he just goes down to one health. That's right. That's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. It's like the sturdy ability in Pokemon. And yeah. then I walk up and I thunder wave and I go, ooh. Alright, does a 16 a hit? A 16? Yep. Yeah. No! He's gone! Alright. You are knocked out. <sighs> and it was my turn, too. Shoot! Sure, now he has to make a death saving throw! Yep, roll me a death save. That's. Fucking damn it. No! That is two failures. Okay, we need someone to heal him right <laughs> right now. Like really right now. Alright, I got it. If only we had a paladin. Oh wait. We have one in the shipment coming next week. I'm the pa <laughs> I am a paladin, you butt. Oh, right. Four. Phil Hode. Okay, I can't really do much though, but I'm gonna run up and um, cause Cast gonna... spare the dying. Yeah. Uh so oh, thank I'm... God you have that. Whew. Gonna run thirty feet, cause that's so I get halfway there. So I'm just sort of running up and we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get Disney up in this, you know, stretch my arm out. No <laughs> wait, do you have cast do you have spare the dying? Uh, no, I have Leon. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I'm level one! Oh, yeah, that's true. You don't have spells yet. Okay. You don't even have cantrips, and that's cantrips. No, Shoot. I don't have it. No, I don't even have cantrips. Oh, I don't even have a ranged this weapon. Is bad, yo. This is so God. bad. You have a ranged weapon, but uh, it blew Do up you in want my head. to use your action to double move or prepare it for anything? Um, yes, I am going. Oh, Two. by the way, we'll need an insight check real quick. Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where is it? I got yeah, a plus see zero, if, so... See if Hearth is dead. <laughs> Hearth is fucking dead. Oh, gosh. We're so screwed. <laughs> We're so screwed. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait, yeah, he has to bring out of that corner I'm not dead. <laughs> um, so... What I'm going to do then is I will I I will just uh, prep. Uh, I'll just have my uh, whip prep a funeral prepared. service. <laughs> no, I'll have my I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare uh, my. Uh... You know what? Heck, why don't I double move? I'll double move. I'm sure. So, uh, so. That'll bring me another 30 feet, which is about here. No, come on. Work with me. Okay. <laughs> How far right. away would he be? Just, uh, I, I, like, I am now, I, I'm 15 hey. feet away from, from, uh, Orgron and 20 feet from, uh, our little psycho. Cause I was gonna, I was gonna, cause if you, if you held your bonus action, I was gonna throw you the potion. And then if you were within five feet, you could have gave it to you. Uh, well. 
I have lay on hands, so I'm just trying to get close enough. But. He's fucking dead the next All turn. Right. Yeah, yo, this is so, so scary. This really is. So, Karek. You I can't do anything. Uh, okay. First, bonus action cry my eyes out. <laughs> Alright, uh, roll a constitution check to see how much you cry. It's it's, it's an average amount. It's an average amount. Alright. You start filling the cart. Movement. Move to... Oh gosh, why can't I move? There we go. Move (laughs) there. (laughs) Action. Start shaking hearth. (laughs) Just violently shaking her. her violently shaking her. Live! That, Live! That, 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 are you trying like a medicine check or anything with this? Or are you just like freaking out because I'm you're kidding? freaking out, yo. Okay. I'm freaking out. If you if want you... to, that's really more of a bonus action if you want to do that. Alright. Okay. Action! <laughs> I, uh, I'll just try to like, like stop. Uh, stop. <laughs> okay. okay. You so hard. That it actually breaks the illusion. <laughs> if, if that's yeah. a bonus action, I'll chill touch the uh, the guy that was attacking or Ar- All right. Wait a minute, the child is using chill touch. Yeah, bro. Yeah, okay, well that's just great. <laughs> you ch- actually <laughs> chill, chill touch heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No! You, <laughs> you're freaking out, and like as you. Looking over, you're shaking Hoth with one hand, and you start casting the spell with another. You look back to her for just a brief second, and in that moment, you accidentally chill to touch the horse that's right in front of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. One damage only. One. one damage only. The horse is now freaked out. Wonderful. Yeah. This is... Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, this is... You can't scream. And as great. you do that, the horse lunges forward... Pulling the cart oh, about crap. that much. <laughs> this is so bad. I was afraid I was had to make a de- uh, an athletic save. Well, fuck yeah. <laughs> Rip. All right. Orn effects. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Lamau. Just watch people die. Um. So the bandit has which mm-hmm. call it on him. Oh no, I, he doesn't. He doesn't because I wasn't in there for thirty feet. Um, I don't know. There's an archer. Fuck it. Um, thirty feet, thirty feet, thirty feet. There. Two natural ones in the span of five minutes. That's interesting. Yeah, that um, that's rough. It's just bad luck, man. Mm, yeah. Somebody can okay, save me. I got it. I got it. I got this. I got this. DM, can I do this? With my light crossbow, instead of a bolt, <laughs> I put the gonna... healing potion in it. <laughs> oh my god. And I yes. shoot it at the dying half orc. Yes, it's going to be a disadvantage to attack, and you have to hit a 10 to hit him. A 10 to hit him, okay. But it's a disadvantage because. Um. What you... The way. Because. Because. You... because okay. Yeah, because it, of disadvantage. Because it's not a bolt, close. and the fact that you can do it whatsoever is... It's an improvised weapon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is gonna be awesome. All right, what am I supposed um, to do with it? Yeah, he's unconscious. He can't do anything with it. It'll You're gonna splat smash it on my face? It, 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 it will... As soon as it... He is very hard... He is a hard head. So as soon as it hits him, it's gonna break, and the healing potion will seep into the skin. <laughs> Yes. Like a and as it hits him, it gives him another failed death save. Got it. Oh, um, gosh. <laughs> that would kill me, wouldn't it? Ah! No, no. No. You shoot the potion, <laughs> and it splashes right next to him. I got this. I got this. I got this. Don't worry. I got this. Um, what? <laughs> what could you possibly do? I got. Shut up. Shut up. Let me focus. <laughs> focus. Shut up. Anything else you'd okay. like to do? I, I can do. I can do one of two things. I can either. Must have one action on both sides. Fuck. All right. Um. If if the DM lets me, I can bonus action. 
try to hit the potion midair as it's over the half orc. Oh my god! With gosh. one of my daggers. What? <laughs> Dude, Madness. we're going straight Legolas. Madness. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. However, then... Quillhode, if yes. you possibly, I know this is Whip monk it. shit. But, because it is going straight through your space, you might be able to catch it before it hits and smashes. If Can I you, make well, it? It's a dexterity save to attempt this, though. Would it be, could I, could I go athletics? Or would it have to be, uh, would it have to be, uh, but we can go athletics. Good. Alright. Yeah. You see the potion at your peripherals, um, going right towards, well, next to your ally. And you see it going way off, so you just grab it midair. Nice. I think it's hilarious that you guys did this because you just threw the potion from the top of the list down to the bottom of the list. <laughs> We're so screwed, man. We're so screwed. Don't worry, guys. I ordered a paladin. He'll be here next week. I am a paladin. Shut All right. Up. As your turn ends, someone takes an extra shot. Ooh. Um, I got it. <laughs> All right, about, so you, know. you hear a twang, <laughs> and then a cracking, as the sniper got his arrow stuck in the tree branch and managed to break it off. <laughs> what the hell? That one. Wait, is it above me? He had advantage because of his height, and he rolled two net ones. That is incredible. Today's not one so, day. Sweet. Do how, do know get, where he is? how do I get so, rid of this thing? He oh, is he falling can't... out right here. Yeah. And he takes. Why are there two half orcs? I don't what? know how to get rid of it. Oh, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> he takes nine points of damage from the fall. It's his spirit, guys. Don't <laughs> <laughs> <That's sweet. laughs> no, How much damage did he take? He took nine, nine points of damage. Ah. Dude, and that so is his well. turn. He is currently prone. Alright. Give me a favor and blast him in the face. Let's see. Yeah, he's just gonna. Oh! Oh, you... fuck me! I knew what I could have done. Fuck. <laughs> He is going to hex. Weapon. He's going to hex the uh, guy that's been in the middle of the road and Eldritch blast him. Yeah. The Eldritch blast hits for three points of damage, and his hex deals one. The disadvantage he's going to do is um. Probably Dex. Yeah, that's let's go with Dex. I could have tied the potion to a dagger and thrown the dagger. Fuck. Or you could I just throw the potion at that point. <laughs> just right. throw the potion. I'm not good at throwing, like, circular objects. I can do four. So, Hoth, you're currently very I well pretending dead. to be dead. Wow, wow somebody is not trying and shaking you. Are the, is the wagon still moving? Like, have the horses still uh, The wagon is still moving, and they're going to keep moving on Carrick Stone unless you use your action to control them. Oh, gosh. Would I be able to use my action to control it to go this way? And run me over? Fuck. Goodbye, Paladin. Uh, that, that would horse. definitely run over Quillhode. Great. Right. Um... I'll allow them to keep moving. Right. So, um, so, but I'm gonna have to get up. <laughs> as the, I work out the way I wanted to. I just realized I never gave you guys control of that coat, which I meant to. I think that's probably for the best. At least none of us are true wins. Uh, Kerrick, you are out of the coat, correct? Yes, I was, like, yeah. Alright, Kerrick, so, as you are right next to it, give me a dexterity save. Okay. Don't fail this child. Oh. I will get destroyed. 
Uh, you take your full one point of damage as it runs over your foot. Oh gosh. <laughs> and and you're crying thing. even harder. When you're, when health, your health are you points are so low. Are you jumping off or are you staying on? I would try I'm, to. I'm, I'm, I'm clutching on. I'm not letting this right. go. Um, so, Whoa. what's your... Whoa. Carrick was more of a little surprise for them. They do have a 40 foot move speed and they are using that full amount of it. However, they have to make a strength save in order to not be exhausted. Which I have to pull up the stats for horse again. So Carrick should be back there. Alright. This is a good thing I put the pace instead of you guys. Otherwise, the result would have been the same. Somebody dead. Uh, the horses good. are still good. Uh, do you want to you do anything else? Um, I am going to, as we're riding by, what's your, what's your rule on being able to cast two spells? Is it as long as they're not an actual spell slot? Um, the way I've seen a lot of people do it is, well, not even a lot of people. I think, like, there's a alternate rule thing about using a first or second level spell as a bonus action, but... You'd have to use an action for a cantrip if it calls for an action. Okay, but, like, I couldn't dissonant whispers and healing word because they're both spell swaps. Healing, wo uh, healing word is a bonus action, so you're good to go ahead and cast it. It's as long as you have the actions required to do them both. Oh, neat. Okay. Because yeah. usually yeah. you can only cast a cantrip and a spell swap. Yeah, I've never done it like that, so... Okay, uh, I'm gonna Dissonant Whispers after I use my bonus action as I'm passing Orgron to use Healing Word. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, Orgron, you are back up to 7 health. You are currently yes. prone, and there was a scary-ass guy with your blood all over him standing over you. Scary. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Well, he also has fake arrows all over him, and like basically the medieval you're not equivalent of ketchup. Of the guy, you're scared of the arrows in him. <gasps> no, bro. I've got a real arrow in me. You've got. <laughs> you can suck my dick. Just PTS flashbacks. All right. <laughs> and he has to do a wisdom save. Let's see. Uh -huh. Hey, right, guys. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what does Fear do? It has to use its move, its reaction to run away from me. Alright, so he takes I 10 believe. points of psychic damage as this old ass lady who is riding on these horses briefly turns to him. His vision flickers for a moment. Your eyes are completely white, your hair shifts and floats around you. The horses, to him at least, turn into these horrible black steeds as the whispers of hell get to him. Holy fucking shit, he is scared. And, Ogron, you get an attack of opportunity. Yes. Ooh. Swing my big ass axe on him. It's two-handed axe, right? Yeah. Alright. So, I'm gonna hit him. Do I have to do anything... No, nah, it's his first spell. Wait. Cause I would have to do anything special to hit it with um the two handed. Uh two handed, I think that there's like a it's a, it's a normal attack roll. Yeah. Just it's just normal. Alright. And it says one D ten for um versatile. Shit. So is that one D ten for the damage? Yep. Alright, and I got a nineteen, is that it? Uh that does hit. <laughs> I call dibs on the scimitar. Hey, max damage. Alright, and that's a... What is your strength bonus? Uh, my strength modifier? Yeah. Three. And it's 13 points of damage. That guy is very heavily injured. He's not, not dead? dead? What? He is not dead. Oh, yes. That means I might be able to finish him up. 
Nah, because he goes and then I go and immediately after. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're you're totally I'm going like to this. kill him. All right. If you <laughs> leave back. the wagons behind, we'll stop attacking. He says, half bloodied, with his friend laying on the ground next to him. Yeah, hell no, boy. Is that your reaction to it? Wait, 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 what does he say? Uh, leave the wagons behind and we'll stop attacking. The fuck is a wagon? <laughs> what? What? No. Hey, yo, is that a wagon? Well, in hey, that yo, is case... that a dead guy begging for his life? I can't, I can't, like... I in can't that react. case... Um... There is a dude shooting spells. He is going to what? attack. You are going to die. He yo. moves oh up to Unifex and does no. a 22 hit you. No, nope. no. What? I got an armor class of 14, baby. All right, that is 12 points of damage. As he brings his scimitar oh. down into you. Give me the no way. And no way, I got he you. is going to use his second attack to attack you again. Wait, 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 wait. How, much, how much was it? <laughs> the first time? Oh. Yo, what? Uh, 12 points of damage. Alright, I'm at negative 3. His second will automatically uh, hit. Yep, yeah. so no, that is a failed death save. Yep. And I have to make uh, a death save. Uh, uh, you don't have to make one right now. That's on your turn. Alright. Oh, God. So if I wanted to look and see at these two dudes and see if they were, like, you know, almost dead, would that cost an action? Uh, no, nah, just give me a investigation. Investigation, okay. Can you run Not past inside? the paladin and grab the healing potion and then give it to me as you slice the guy? Mm. I hate to be this guy, but I guess... To use half his movement to attack this guy over here. Oh, that's right. He has to use half his movement to just get up. Yeah. God damn it. Ah, uh, it's okay. I will avenge you, bro. Which I realized after the fact that your attack should have been a disadvantage, but that still would have hit. So. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> something, but it was still obscenely high, so I didn't. Sick. Um. Right, well, so you here. look at them. Hey, there's a lot of blood. There's also a lot of ketchup. There's also a lot of fake arrows. You'd have no clue. I'm just gonna swing at this nigga with my battle axe. I just axe. wanted to know what a cart was. Uh, oh, 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 oh no, not a <laughs> Dude, crush his head. Why don't you use battle axes instead of light axes? Because uh, I get to hit more things. <laughs> and all right. Yeah, roll that damage. One D10. Riggity, 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 son. Three. One D10 plus... Oh, come on. Just, um, just as a right. half oak, I believe that you do extra damage on criticals, don't you? Yep. Just, 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 three D10 plus three. Yeah. So, so roll an extra two D10. Roll two D10. Seventeen, <laughs> twenty-one damage. <laughs> you... Take your battle axe and you just look at this guy on the ground and you hit him uh, on the back, not quite in the center, but pretty darn close to it. You hear bones crack. He is still he alive, but he is not doing well. Can I use my bonus action? Uh, what would you like to do, use your bonus action for? Second win. Yes. There you go, yeah. That's right. a good idea. Kill him, kill him. Plus one. Three health. Alright, you're healed for three. One, two, three. Okay, okay, and that's, uh, that's all I got. Alright. Although I wish I could have lobbed this part. Quill hold. Okay. I. So, my. Uh, so, so, my whip has a reach of ten feet. I'm going to just move up here. And then I am going uh, 
to whip the guy. Doesn't that person need healing? Yeah, he's 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 on one death save. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I got I got focus. Yeah, that guy is pretty dangerous. So does nineteen get through? <laughs> nineteen does hit. Excellent. Oh, for a fucking paladin, I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> I work with preventative medicine. Uh, Side. you hit no him wonder for six. Crap. He is still standing, but what? barely standing. Uh, you serious? Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Um. <clears throat> would I be allowed to um hustle up to him and and do lay on hands? What sort of action is lay on hands? A lay on hands is a paladin feature. Let me let me let me bring oh, it up. That's right. Pretty yeah, sure it's yeah. an action. Let me yeah, let me check. Action bars, action, uh, bard. Sacred Oath. Here we go. Land hands. Your blessing. Yep, it's an action. That pool. Yeah, as an action. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, move to me. You have a potion of healing. All right. <laughs> I'll move right there. Shove that thing down my throat. Can I dump? Can I do that? Can I dump? That, the, that's uh... really more of an action to do it on someone else. Have if somebody else ran what? out and took it from your hand. Like, uh, I believe that it's a no, bonus action it. to do it to yourself. But you're like full on having to grab the person's he head, open their mouth, yeah. and dump that it in. Great. Yeah. Oh. All right. All right. Then I'll just, I'll just. Uh... I'll just chill here then. Alright. So you chill there. Do they have any bars in the afterlife? Uh, yes, quite a few. It's the afterlife, of <laughs> course. Um, sweet. Alright, so Karek. Um, bonus action. Wipe the tears from my eyes. As, as well as yell to Cassander. Um, Grab the potion and feed it to feed it to Ornifex, and then I'll run forward and cast my second spell of the day, magic missile. I want. You know, guys, two... I kind of like it here. They have a lot of bars and pubs. I want you two to hit the one, the melee guy, and then one to hit the archer. Okay. Roll so... the first two real quick. Well, that's wonderful. All right. He had full health left, so... Yes! You hold out your hand, and as the arcane bolts whoop around Quillhoad, they hit him dead in the chest. His eyes widen for a moment as he falls to his knees. You roll three ones in a row? And he is actually not dead because you put him right at zero. He is just unconscious. Crap. <laughs> oh, whatever. Alright, hmm. and the... Oh, the guy takes two more points of damage. He dead? He is not dead. Good. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, with that, Orifex, give me a death save. Um, Don't be a can, one, I, can I do a... Uh, can I get a... Uh, <gasps> can I do a perception to see uh, if they have any nightclubs in the afterlife? Uh, give me an investigation, because you will, like, check it out the area. Fuck, I have a zero to investigation. Um, yeah. So do oh, I. Like, fuck, wrong thing. I have a one in investigation. Woo! You look so around a little bit, bit ladies, and a shade, like, trips you, and you're, you're knocked black. out in the afterlife. It is pitch fucking black. Alright. Hey, I have dark vision. I can chill up there. The O2... <laughs> Not exactly wanting to stand up, he still has his bow out, and he is going to fire into melee. He has disadvantage for the melee, <laughs> but advantage for being on the ground. I forgot that he's on the ground, so even if he tried to run away, he'd only get half as far as I can go. Yeah, if he was yeah, to try to stand up, he would have got an attack of opportunity, so he's not going to do oh that. God. God damn it! That would have been so uh, cool. That is an 18 to hit. Who is he shooting at? You. You. Uh, Why okay. is my AC wrong? Fuck. And I rolled two ones and a four, and his bonus makes that a ten. 
You are at zero health, you are not bleeding out, you are just at zero. Oh my gosh, we're so screwed. <laughs> and he is actually going to... Well, huh? so, um, kind of forgot he has two attacks. So, that would have been twice as many arrows that entire time. But oh well. So, Kirik, you are taking an arrow as well. That is 25 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. That is 19 points of damage. Well, I'm actually can... dead, dead. Like, for you real. You disadvantage? I don't do the whole, like, damage going over doing it. It has to be a death effect or failed death saves. I am going to say that is a failed death save, though. And he does make that advantage because he is on the ground. Oh, which is a fucking weird. But he also has disadvantage because he has someone in his square. Like, he rolled a 19 on his first one and a 17 on the next one, and he has a plus 6. Goddamn lucky bastard. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, and that is his turn. Actually, no, he's going to use his movement to stand up. Oh, okay. Alright. Kaz, fucking running over, grabbing the potion of, um, Quillhode, well. and is just grabbing, uh, Onifex's head, and is just dumping it in. Um, fucking potion of healing. Uh, that's 2d4 or 2d6? Yeah. 2d4, I believe. <sighs> oh, shit. I'm actually gonna look that up because I don't... Yeah, I believe uh, it's 2d4 it plus 4. 2d4 plus 2. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's plus 2. Fucking 3. So, nice. you're back up so at 3 health. Back up at 2 health, guys. So that was at negative oh. 3. Wait, that was a plus 2 as well, so that's 5. Yeah. And so negative health so doesn't really count in 5e. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. I'm at 5. Fucking awake. Wish I could do the same. And with that, health. I think at this point I'm gonna have to use my action to stop the car. Alright. <laughs> the coat. He just drives off into the distance. You do stop the coat. Um, I think that's gonna be all I do now. Is over bonus. Can you not hit the archer in the face? I don't have... I, I use my action. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Fuck. Alright. There's so many options, well, so many... Uh, people to kick his ass there. Dagger, dagger, dagger. So, in that case, he's knocked out. Uh, you are at zero, so you don't have to roll anything. Will hold. Okay. Um. I am going to run up here next to our half orc buddy. And I will use Lay on Hands to give him five hit points. You should have healed the kid. I think the other guy's full health, isn't he? Oh. Oh, no, Ogon is, he is at zero health. He's stabilized, oh. but he is... Yeah. Okay. He's still down. Right. Yeah, cool. yeah, so... Uh, right. So, Orgron, or I think... Yep, Orgron, you've got... Uh, you, you've got... You've got five health now. Great. Congratulations. All right. All right. Anything else you'd like to do? With a bonus action? Uh, as a bonus action, can I whip this fool? No. no. Alright, so, Kirik, give me a death save. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no, it would be on the other guy's action. 
because he shot him. What is no, it? it's on mine. It's on my turn. Yeah, it's on there too. All right, here we go, guys. Hope for not a nat one. Yeah! Whoa! You will automatically stabilize. Nice! Alright. Lucky See, I didn't uh, need to the child isn't dead. Ornifex, you are still on the ground. You wake up to the strange liquid in your uh, mouth and a devilish creature <laughs> standing over you, it. like holding your head, holding your mouth mm -hmm. open. I don't care. It's also it's not strange. I fucking made it. I know this thing with the back of my hand. Um, Just because I I'm, make I'm eggs not doesn't mean it's not strange when I wake up with them in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking pissed. Um, let's see here. That's really um, good. One action. My life. Um, first, probably should have done this a long time ago. Um, I get half action to move. Um, so. 15. Fucking 15 is a day. Uh, this guy's still alive? Uh, the guy next Nothing to you is... Yeah, the other guy's still alive. Uh, I'll step over this guy because he's unconscious. One, two, three, fifteen. Um, if line of sight. Um. Fucking fireball him. Alright. Twenty-two. Roll that damage. Damn it! Eight. Eight. Right, he is still standing. What? He is laying on the ground. What the fuck? He is still laying on the ground. <laughs> oh, no, wait, he stood up. He, he did stand up. up. This he magical did stand up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's he's got his back crushed, man. Um. Fuck. What else do I 